Hi guys, I am going to do kind of some quick updates in this video. Um, I was thinking about doing a changing video, but I ended up not doing that. Um, oh, my hand itches. I was going to show everybody a quick haul that I have. It's not really a whole lot. Um, it's just a few things that I picked up. First off, there was a consignment sale this past weekend. It's not the typical consignment sale I always go to that's coming up. Although there's nothing I really want or need. But I got in free at the other consignment sale and I got to shop early because of the military dis or mili they had a pre-military part. And this sale, it's the first time I went to this one, it's a lot smaller. I just, I wasn't really too impressed. The selection was kind of small. Like I said, it was a lot smaller. Um, but the prices, compared to, like, some of the prices at the, um, Just Between Friends sale, were actually kind of expensive. Like, a Crazy 8 shirt, I ended up buying it because my daughter begged me for it. It was, like, $4.00. To me, a Crazy 8 shirt is not worth $4. Yes, I know, it's basically the cheaper Jimbo Reline. Uh, but I, I'm just... When Crazy 8 was open, you could have got better deals on sales. Which I know in any store you can do that. But I just wasn't impressed by their prices. And so... I didn't really buy anything. Um... They didn't have, like, the baby boy clothes. They only had, like, a few outfits. And they were either stained or overpriced. And the girls, there was a few more. But they were all overpriced. Or I, I really wasn't in love with them. And I'm, I've gotten to the point, like, buying clothes for my babies. I need to be, like, truly manly in love with it. I'm willing to spend a little more money for something that I really want. Versus just buying something because it's cheap. But anyways, the only thing that I picked up there for myself or for my babies was this boppy cover. And you can probably see why. It's got little bumblebees on it and it says baby and it does have dragonflies on it as well. But I saw the little bees and I had to have it. And once again, I mean, it's it's not in the best of shape. It's not, it's a, it is an actual bobby cover but it's an older one it's kind of faded a little bit and the fabric is not really soft not like a typical bobby cover so i'm assuming this is an older style that and i've never seen one with a bumblebee on it so i picked that up just because it had the bees on it i think i paid like 250 for it so it wasn't horribly bad priced for that I ended up spending more money than I wanted to, but my daughter fell in love with this huge hair bow. And that was like over half of my price anyway, or my total anyways. Then we also stopped at Ross on our way home. And I picked up this pack of bottles. This one is missing its um, cap and stuff. So I'm going to look for a replacement one. But I found a pack. They were gumdrop bottles and these are the they're nine ounce ones I think yeah nine ounce uh, these are the large ones and as you can see the thing about gumdrops is they have the colored nipples so they had this was a three pack and like I said this one's missing um, the ring cap and nipple I have an, a generic nipple I can use for it I just need a ring and a cap for it and then they also had this 5-ounce girls bottle, which is this one I'm going to keep. Those ones will probably go into my eBay store to sell. But this one I will be putting in with my collection. And once again, it has the blue nipple. And I was wondering if this, since this is the same as these, if this was supposed to go to these ones. Because this was by itself. They sold this one separately. So I don't know if it was initially supposed to be sold separately or if it was in a pack of three and somebody stole the other three. Just like somebody stole the one cap and nipple and everything off the one. But when I looked them up online, this one does have the correct cap on it. Because I was like, okay, this has like 
aqua, pink, and purple on it. So this was like a girly one, so I would think this would be pink or purple. But it's blue, and it's correct. And these ones are orange, green, and blue with the blue cap and nipple. So that was kind of my small haul. Um, I also want to give an update about our giveaway. Um, it is I'm really hoping to um, be able to integrate that giveaway into a video within the next week. We are getting very close. We only need nine more subscribers till we hit 750. And I don't have the giveaway prize in here, but I've got a video on it and that you will be receiving that um, bottle that is uh, modified for real care and a pacifier that is modified for real care. So that is what the 750 giveaway is. I have gotten the 1,000 subscriber giveaway items. I'm slowly starting to purchase the items. I got the big item and I'm trying to get the smaller items to go in the big item. I don't want to say anything about that until... You know what? When we hit 900, I will announce what our 1,000 subscriber giveaway will be. I'll probably mention it between 750 and 900 but I will show what the contents will be and I hope everybody will be excited about it and lastly I got some love mail today and I already opened it just to read it and you know what it was it, it came at the perfect time because honestly I was having kind of a cruddy day and it, it was just the right pick me up and like I've said in the past I'm not I didn't open the PO box to get items or to get presents from people I know there are a few in the community that open their PO boxes and expect people to send like love like big love mail to me love mail is even just this little card um simple as that like like I said this made my day this this it's a very sparkly simple card and I'll read what's inside. It's not a huge ex thing. It just, it made my day. Um, on the front, it is blue. And it's got a very cute little gray bunny. And there's some glittery accents. And it says, just wanted you to know. Um, I got a soft spot in my heart for you. Happy Easter. Um, Nana's Nursery and Reborns with... Uh... Sorry, I can't read the river, I think is what I am not exactly sure. Okay. And then I'll read the inside of it. In light of your recent not-so-happy meal, just thought I'd send you a cuddly sweet something. I just discovered your channel, and I'm really enjoying it. Keep up the good work, Lori. And like I said, there's the inside. And something this simple made my day I honestly started out having kind of a really crappy day and I had to run to the post office to pick up or not to pick up to drop off some stuff I sold on eBay and so I checked my PO box and I did have a little bit of junk mail on this and like I said this is from Nana's Nursery and Reborns so I'm going to cover her address up. But yeah, she added these little cute stickers. So pink and blue footprint on the front and then a pink and blue handprint sticker on the back. But I dropped the stuff off at the P.O. box and, or not the P.O., at the post office. So I checked my P.O. box and I saw this and I opened it up and literally something this simple made my day. That's what I opened the P.O. box up for, was for like letters and cards happy letters and cards so thank you so much Lori from Nana's Nursery and Reborns and if I can find your channel I will link it below there was something oh and even after like I said this made my day and my day got so much better after this today I was able to book um, my flight for the meetup so I am so excited I believe Crystal has gotten hers 
Heather will be booking hers, she said, pretty soon, and Kim is going to be looking at hers. I'm not sure about the other girls that are possibly going to be coming, but I am just ecstatic. Like, oh, excuse me. I felt like I could cry when I, I got done booking that because I was just so excited and so happy that I finally got my ticket. So it's, it's becoming more real. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video, and I will see you all later. Bye.